What are you drinking? The blood. Root juice root. and coffee. Cold, cold root. I combine them. Did you say cold beer? Cold, oh, you cold, dripped. Cold, cold, cold. <laughs> I really didn't even mean to do that. This <laughs> stains, y'all. Don't drink it. What do you think your insides look like? Red. <laughs> look at that. Blood. What are we building? Have we had one of these on the channel before? No. This brand? That's what I thought. Curvelo. What is this? Cervelo boy. It's a Santa Cruz. It's, <laughs> you can't say blur. that. <laughs> I think it's cooler than a Santa Cruz blur. How? Oh, it's the same white. It's got this. Yeah, that makes it right better. there. Actually, Interesting situation. So we don't sell Santa Cruz, but we do sell Cervelo. And Cervelo made a mountain bike. It looks the same. Similar. Similar. The geometry is different and the carbon layout is different, but the suspension linkage is the same fundamental design, the way that the rocker and everything works. I do agree with you, I like this bike better than the Blur. They're so similar, they look similar. I, I just don't understand like why I think, they would do both in their lineup. I think the all... biggest difference about this is like the geometry, because it's different than a lot of bikes. Is it steep, steep? No, I mean, oh yeah. 67.8? Yeah. So it's a... Uh, it's a lot steeper. I guess that's a good thing. Depends on who you are. This is post Epic 8. As we're filming this video, I've been riding with a 65.9 degree head angle. It looks like you've been riding. Yeah, I actually, I really have. I don't want to be negative about this. This is a cool bike, but it's definitely an interesting conversation to have. On Holdings owns both Cervelo and Santa Cruz. And then Cervelo was like, I want to make a mountain bike. It makes sense. Cervelo didn't have to do a lot of the complicated design that they would have had to like spend a ton of money on like the suspension layout. And then they could tweak the carbon layup and the geometry to fit what they thought was better. And so I, I do think it's cool. Just weird. I think it has something to do with like brand loyalty. They just know that there's like diehard Cervelo fans out there. They probably would have never bought a mountain bike without Cervelo making one. And then they made one and then some roadies went and bought a mountain bike. And it's working. I think so. I mean, we've sold like five or six of these now. Yeah. We haven't written one yet uh, because we keep selling them and we have a lot of other stuff going on, but it really is a cool bike and we're gonna, I guess we should start building it, right? Let's, let's do it. Step one of any bike build. Take, take, take off anything that it came with. Take everything apart. Uh, recently, this bike is called the ZFS-5. I think Cervelo uses the Dash 5 as like their nicer frame. Pretty lame, like high-end name, because Specialized has S-Works and Cervelo has five. <laughs> nobody's nobody's ever gonna make a better marketing strategy than S-Works, it's just not. Is this fun. Flexi? Yeah, so it's a Flex Day, obviously. And Feels it's, weird. it's weird because as you put the shock in, you're actually bending it outward instead of it it's a you see what i mean like it's the opposite of the other ones a little bit yeah yeah because normally you bend it down but this one bends up yeah to start that's weird bendy boy we are gonna have to undo that because i've already attempted to put the routing plug in there and it don't fit unless you take the take the pivots apart yeah which uh these are santa cruz pivots which is actually really good so santa cruz uses a sealed bearings and all their stuff i don't know if cervello has the same lifetime warranty that uh santa cruz does like santa cruz i think will send you free bearing replacements that's nice it's really cool who knows if cervello will do that or not these pivot things are actually a little complicated if you've ever worked on a santa cruz before and redone the bearings in it it's like a bunch of different little bolts so you take the, little that's the, the little like preloader one. And then I should be able to, yeah. So we got bolts inside of bolts. Yes. That's what you want. It works. It helps you get the proper preload on the system as opposed to it just bolting in and bottoming out. So the other, the, the wedge piece holds it in place. So you tighten this down until it's proper, properly preloaded. And then the wedge kind of like holds it. The rocker rocks on that. I'm just gonna stick this bolt back through here so we don't lose it. And now we have access to the underneath of the bike. Woo! Trey was successful in putting we that. Can, can oh this yeah. the. The little rubber, rubber thing, thing with a little mud guard to keep the mud from up in your frame. It's good so then you don't get a rusty bottom bracket. Rust. 
Rusty. Yeah, there's a drain hole. That's smart. So you're attempting to do a headset cable routing job right now. We're trying. I also was successful in getting the new shock uh, with the correct mounting hardware. You might be wondering why we're switching to mounting hardware. Well, there's a very good answer to that question. Uh, Cervelo literally had these on sale like 35% off or something. I think so. Yeah, I, was, they still um, I think that, I think if they're still available, they're still on sale. But, but like we, we ended up selling like five or six of these just due to how affordable it became. I think this frame was like 2,500 bucks after the discount, uh, which is a great deal for a pretty nice frame. And, uh, but to, uh, because the availability was starting to get kind of hard to get these because of how cheap they were, uh, we just bought the 100 mil travel frame and uh, then we just bought a 120. Uh, so for 100 mil travel, it's a uh, 190 by 40. We are now switching it to 190 by 45. And then uh, we're also gonna do a 120 fork on this bike. Easy peasy. Yeah, really not a big deal at all. We would have had to take the shock off to get the brake routed anyway. So we got a big teamwork situation going on. Good team. Do you like this brake mount? How it kind of just like, I had to bolt I mean, that on. Wait, where, from the outside? Yeah, from the outside, so it bolts sure. on. I, I think it's kind of cool. Not. Yeah, it's hard to see on the outside, but I thought it was cool. It's, uh, it's weird that everybody has their own like little design for how to mount brakes. Everything should just be the same. What's the works is just built it's, into the It's built into the front. That's how I would do it yeah. if I were to make a bicycle. Bicycle. I don't think I'll ever be designing a bike though. Should we put the foam in it? Yes. It's right there. You know why? Why? <laughs> Yeah. All right, we're filming. What are we filming? You. We got Bubs filling in on camera land over there. Bubs, do you run the foamy? No. Why? You don't need that junk. Oh, okay. You don't need that junk, YouTube. Extra weight. What are your thoughts on Torello mountain bikes? I don't know. Jackson? First one I've seen. Really? You haven't seen any other ones? I haven't seen like I haven't seen one like built. I I've never ridden one. Nobody has ridden one here. It looks sick. I think one of us needs to ride one to, so we can speak on how they ride. Let's order one right now. We were just talking about how they were on like super duper discounts. So oh yeah, and they're all gone. And they're all gone. That's why we sold so many. Should we cut it? Nah, run, run it. Run it. Bubs always wants to run it. Let's microwave it. Here you go. <laughs> I'm scratching it with this. Yeah, that's all I can find. Sorry. I don't think that's sharp enough. Dang it. Okay, that worked. That was good. How long do you think this would take? I don't know, let's figure it out. You're about 10 seconds in. Should we time lapse it? That one smelled oh, bad. Man. Do you smell that? No. It smells burnt. I can't smell anything. Oh! It's his first day. First day on the job, dropping bearings. We'll clean that, don't worry. This is the rigid. It's got a measuring tape. That's kind Just of in case you curtain. needed to measure something not very large. Yo, Chase got me some pants, y'all. Do you know where I get my pants from? Where? Old Navy. Old Navy. You know why? Why? Gotta save money for S Works. S Works, yeah. Well, these were on sale, right, Chase? I bought them from like a used clothing website. Yeah called like Depop or something that I've been selling mine and Jesse's stuff on and they were new with tags for a pretty good deal so these are uh what year was, what year was the elephant nine from 2019 a few years old yeah Sel salvage denim jeans it's my okay. hobby that's not bikes pants yeah I have a pants hobby that's a weird hobby. These are my stretch ones. Do you see how the, they're starting to fade? No. Anyway, that's enough pants. Do you see my old navies? Old navy boy. I love old navy. I'm gonna buy. Tra I'm gonna buy Trey a pair of Del uh, Selvage and see I, what. I don't think can handle it. It's almost short season now, so then. Pants oh, you gotta wear them year round. You gotta wear them year round so you can get the fades, Trey. Selvage is one stone. Just buy old navy pants and then they fade way faster. And you just throw <laughs> them away. It takes like a week. Just throw them away. Yeah. There's actual competitions of people who like fade jeans and they go to like a competition to see who did it the best. It's not just the fades, it's the whiskers, the honeycomb. It's a whole world. <laughs> what? Yeah. I'll send you some stuff later. You'll get into it. I don't think I'll watch it. It's but Chase has some too. All the techniques to like wash your denim. You don't wash it for a while. I, wash I, I don't remember why, but you don't wash it. Oh, it helps with fading. 
Let's PSA. Everyone watching, please wash your clothes. Trey, feel the thickness. This is a 21 ounce yeah, pair. This is, ounce. this is like wearing a burlap sack. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the point. I would hate that. Jesse just enjoys being uncomfortable. He likes to be uncomfortable on the bike, and then apparently it's that is true. Transition like... to real life. Jesse just told me that if you want to buy a bike, to text me and not Jesse, because his phone's blowing up. We'll put Trey's phone number right below him right now. Just text that phone number right there. Text it. Text it. All I don't answer ever. <laughs> Should we actually put your phone number in the? I don't know if that's a good <laughs> no, idea. No, that's a bad idea. Email. Email us at thebicyclestation.com. What is going on here? I put the lockout hose in the frame for you. There's a lot of stuff in the frame now that we're gonna have to maneuver. Are we supposed to put this Chinese finger trap in the? I don't know where that would go. Did that come up? Is that even from this? Yeah, game? it comes with all the Cervellos. I don't know what it does though. Comment down below if you I know what this is for. it's just a fun game to play with your co-workers. Yeah, co- finger, finger trap each other together. Oh, you know what it's for? Jackson is the long It goes on track. the fork. Oh, so you don't cut through the steer tube? With the hoses. I'm not worried about that. <laughs> That's hilarious. That, Cause like I've seen them do that on carbon That's frame. Thing, for, carbon yeah. Frame, not with metal. I don't think Cervelo just don't know about mountain bikes like at all. <laughs> they're like you they're, learning. they're learning. Give them time. They're learning. We purposely like, are leaving this super tall for the customer. The customer asked us to do that. Um they're gonna get a bike fit and then uh get it. Do we have a top cap? Uh yeah. Comment down below if you want to see more denim content on this channel. Cervelo. Cervelo. Comment down below if you want us to ride one of these. We just haven't been stoked about this bike. I've been more stoked as we've sold so many of them. Like definitely stoked about selling them. They're definitely cool. I um, don't know if they're as cool as Swerks. <laughs> Whenever they release a color that I really like, I think is when I'll... Like uh, uh, or what we'll do is we'll ride Keeley's whenever Keeley builds his up. The bike came with these little things. Like Specialized, just yeah. invented. Cervelo beat them to it, I guess. Cervelo's ahead of the game. They were the first mountain bike with headset cable riding. I'll give them that credit. Hello? Yeah. First ever. I think so. Probably. With a hardtail, right? I don't know. I actually don't. Know. I think they were. I'm going to go ahead and say that Cervelo, you get a lot of credit for my Can favorite feature. Say, my favorite mountain biking thing. feature. This is, oh. This is the second part of this bike that's hurt my fingers. I was literally bleeding. Look at my hand. It's like, oh, it goes so in that. Oh. So you gotta put them in from underneath, like that. Good thing we read the instructions. <laughs> Good thing we know how to read. I put the shock in. Jesse put the shock in. Good job, Jesse. I'm really good at switching shocks around on bikes. It's a fun little job to do. Did you know we're shock service capital of Indiana? Are we? I don't know, I just came up with that because we've been doing a lot of them. Did you guys know that we're from Indiana? People are always so surprised whenever I tell them we're from Indiana. Why? Like when we go to a race? Because they're judging us, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I sign up for races in like North Carolina and you look at the starting lit list. It's like, I'm the only one from Indiana. And then people will like ask me why I'm out there racing. Like, oh, where are you from? Like Indiana. And they're like, they're like, what do you mean? You're from Indiana? Like people live there. Yeah. Well, I think it's weird because like we don't suck. And so, like, last year, I got seventh at, like, the Pizio 111. And, like, whenever I said I was from Indiana, they're like, what do you mean? Like, how do you... People out on the trail, and I was, like, hiking with Gentry to watch the race that were, like, wait, how is he riding out here? Like, he's from Indiana. And I was, like, we like to come here. What do you mean? Like, we just ride our bikes. I don't know. <laughs> we don't tell people we ride bikes. Little known fact, Indiana does have mountain bike trails. Come out and check it out. Visit us. Or don't. Don't forget the computer mount before you get too far. Do they have a Garmin or a Hammerhead? It works for Wahoo too, you just have to rotate it. The rotator. This is why we're always bleeding. This is a hazard. Yeah. I was trying to put the brake on and I dropped it and then just left it on the floor. What did we find out? I'm wrestling. So this is the brake mount that we were hyping up a minute ago. Not yeah. hyping up, but we were saying it like it's kind of cool. I had to undo it so I could loosen it and then rock it into place. We're not getting a good focus here. No Apple to make better phones. I think they make the best phone. People can not even disagree with that. Are yeah, you bleeding again? I told you. 
You know how we like, always talk about like how we're like bleeding and you know, it's grease? Like I'm actually- This time it's blood. It's actually just blood. Gross. Are we done with this one? I don't, I don't. I mean, kind of. I think it could be ridden. We're almost done with this. Almost. I mean, How's it going? It's going. We're done. The bike's built. It looks pretty much done to me. It looks like a spider web. <laughs> yeah. Gotta start somewhere, I guess. I agree. We did. This bike, we're installing a three position remote lockout on. And I've noticed they started to use this like super skinny housing. Like look at it. Itty bitty. Yeah, it is. I'm trying to make sure the tool, I, hopefully that holds through. Sweet. We got him. Housing also has its own small cable ends to go with it. And I'm pretty sure that it's got its own small cables that also go with it. So I know that this isn't a proprietary system. You can put normal housing in the three position remote lockout. The new stuff seems to be intentional. So I'm gonna definitely use it. Does it not wanna use it? It didn't wanna go in there, let's see. So I'm not sure what is going on here, but this Sid looks ultimate and this Sid looks ultimate have different cable stops, huh. which makes no sense because they're the exact same shock. Um, luckily these are really easy to replace. So just for the ease of this, we're gonna just solve this mystery by avoiding it. And I'm gonna switch them out. Put this cable stop on this shock. There we go. And hopefully that works now. I'm pretty confident it should. Yep. Okay. So no 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 solution to the mystery, but we don't really care because now we can uh, keep moving forward. <laughs> that was weird. Back under there. The remote. And I think we've done a couple videos on these. These are awesome. I'm uh, using the stock grip to just kind of measure this and how long that would normally sit on the handlebar. We are going to be installing um, ESI grips that I'm going to have to cut to size. If you're wondering about like how to do that, just take the grip that SRAM sends and then that way you know like what the intended ergonomics would have been so that you can have something close to what Tram was thinking with the ergonomics on that. Cinch that down. We'll, we might adjust that again later, but what I'm trying to do is get a feel for how long we want to cut this. And this Cervelo does not have a steer stopper, so we're gonna account for, looks like, gonna be something like that. We're gonna weigh this. Wait, I can't see you. Oh, sorry. Uh, 24-ish. It ba it's bouncing a lot. Like, high 23, low 24. Sweet. It was never steady. You can make it a lot lighter if you wanted to. These are heavier tires, and also cutting the steer tube would help a lot. Although, that is a little heavier than I expected. I thought this frame was like one of the lighter frames that you could build. We didn't even weigh it with pedals just now. I'm a little surprised by that weight. To be completely honest with everybody, I, I did expect this to be a little bit lighter bike. Are the high tops heavier? No. Okay. No. Interesting. Yeah. This is like what you always say with the bikes that you build for me though, is like every single one of my bikes, I feel like should be lighter than your bikes. And they're always heavier. What are you doing? There we go. I was like, this suspension wasn't doing anything. <laughs> Anyway, super stoked to build this one. Like I said, interested to hear how it rides. I have a buddy who bought one of these and I'm hopefully gonna get to try to try it out here soon. Definitely happy to be selling these. We've sold a lot of them recently. So hit us up if you're looking for one. They are low stock due to the sale, but they still have a couple left and hopefully if you're looking for a ZFS. I always mix up the letters. I'm super dyslexic, so I always say like ZSF or something wrong. Definitely let us know. Oh yeah, definitely do the bell for Trey. Bell us. Bell us. Thanks everybody.